All right, by popular request here, uh, we'll do another ar arithmetic basics uh, example here. And what we're going to do is convert a fraction to a decimal, but this time we're simply going to divide by a two-digit number. And the idea is exactly the same as when we divide by a single-digit number, but uh, you know, obviously the arithmetic gets a bit more tedious in this case. So I'm going to do the example 248,764 divided by 18. And again, the first thing I do is I rewrite that. Um, and I'm going to write the 248764 underneath and the 18 on the outside. So when I do these, I definitely do a lot of estimation um, to kind of help me figure out how many times, basically the numbers that go on the top. So the first part's not too bad. I basically think, OK, so I'm, I'm looking at the number 18. I think, does 18 go into 2? Well, definitely not, because 18 is bigger than 2. But 18 does go into 24. And I believe 18 would go into 24 uh, just simply one time. Uh, and then we just do our multiplication. So 1 times 18 is going to be 18. And then we subtract. 24 minus 18 is going to give us 6. And then we'll drop our 8 down. So now we've got 68. So now I think, ugh, how many times does 18 go into 68? And sometimes this is where I think it's good to round. You know, what if this was 20 um, and this was 70? 20 would go into 70 roughly three times. Um, you know, there would definitely be a little bit left over, but, you know, uh, I think 20 wouldn't go into 74 times because that would give us 80, okay? So I'm thinking either three or four, and this is where I usually start doing arithmetic. I used to do, you know, all my arithmetic out to the side. Um, so we said three times. Let's see, 18 times three. So let's see, three times eight would be uh, 24. So we'll drop the four down and carry the two. Three times one is uh, three plus two will give us 54. Well, let's see. So three times 18 is 54. The difference between 54 and 68 is only 14. Okay, so notice 68 minus 54 is 14. And since that's smaller than the number we're dividing by, we found the correct number that we need to put on the top. So I'm going to drop my 3 up here. So again, we just said 3 times 18 is going to give us 54. And we subtract. We said that gives us 14. And again, that's good because 14 is smaller than 18. That's what we want. Okay, so we drop our next number down. 147, it looks like we're going to get. So again, this is where I'm like, blah, you know, uh, say la vie, this is what you have to do. So let's see. Um, how many times would 18 go into 147? Well, again, I'm going to round. I'm going to pretend 18 is 20 and 147 is 150. So if I take 150 over 20, that's what I basically am doing in my head, well, we can simply get rid of the zeros. 15 divided by 2, that's going to be 7 and some change, I believe 7.5. So I'm thinking probably that number that goes on top, and since 18 is smaller than 20, it might go in even more times. You know, so I'm thinking maybe eight, maybe seven, and this is where you just kind of have to uh, to check and and see which one works. Um, let's see here. So off to the side here. If we do eighteen times eight, let's see. So eight times eight is going to give us sixty-four. So we'll drop the four down and carry the six, and then eight times one plus six is going to give us one forty-four. So actually, it looks like 18 will go into this number, 147. It looks like we can use it eight times. Okay, so I'm going to put my 8 up there. So again, 8 times 18, that's what we just did over here, is 144. If we subtract, uh, 147 minus 144 is going to give us 3. And then we simply drop our 6 down. Now this is good, let's see, um, 18 goes into 36 exactly two times, okay, so 2 times 18 is going to be 36. If we subtract, we'll just get 0, again we'll drop our 4 down, 
Well, does 18 go into the number 4? Definitely not, so I'm going to stick my 0 there. 0 times 18 is going to be 0. And this is where I'm going to, so originally we were dividing by 248,764. Since we still have a remainder um, and we're converting to a decimal, I'm just going to put a few more zeros over here. Okay, so if we subtract, we'll get 4 and 0 after we drop our extra 0 down, that is. So then I think 18 would go into 40. Well, I, I believe, again, that would go in two times. And notice I keep my decimal place lined up. Well, 2 times 18, again, is going to be 36. And if we subtract, we're going to get a 4. And again, if we drop down our next 0, uh, again, we're basically left with the number 40 again. So I think we're kind of caught in a, a little infinite loop here now. Because again, 18 will go into 40 two times. If we subtract away our 36, again, we're going to get another 4. And then we'll drop down our next 0. We're going to keep getting uh, uh, 4 and 0 every time. So to me, it looks like the 2's should just keep going on forever and ever and ever. And to indicate that, we can put a little bar over one of the 2's. Or, in summary, what we can simply say here is that our original value that we were doing the division, so 248764 over 18, it says we're going to get the number 13,820.2. And now I can just stick the bar over the first two. And again, that just indicates that the 2 goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. So, Again, pretty tedious here. Um, you know, it's, again, obviously it, it helps to know your multiplication tables. But again, this is what I do in my head. I kind of round and estimate. And I don't always get it exactly right. But usually I can get it in the ballpark by at least uh, kind of rounding things off and making the numbers a little bit smaller than what I originally had to deal with.